So we've got an interesting assortment. And the last one we have, wow, do we have video. Oh boy. We, we don't we have an amazing video. I'm not gonna try and play it because we have a very delicately balanced thing here. <laughs> we have an amazing video. But um let's get underway each week. Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And we're going to start this week at the White House again. I look forward to your YouTube comments. Actually, no, this is tech kind of not their fault this time. This is a continuing series from back in the Obama administration. Oh, yeah. Anybody can just waltz into the White House, that series? The continuing series of the White House security is terrifyingly bad. Any fucking asshole can just wander into the White House? We, sometimes by getting elected? Yeah, uh, this comes from... Oh, is it time to loudly eat because I'm on the air? Yeah? Okay, we didn't want anything to do with our food two hours ago. We better slurp it up really loud now. All right, good. Woman arrested three times as she tries to see President Trump. Now, well, we'll get to it in a bit, but woman arrested late Tuesday night after she allegedly attempted to gain entry to the White House was arrested two more times nearby. Police uh, said she told them she was there to speak to President Trump. Oh, okay then. Marcy Anderson Wall, 38, of Everett, Washington, was arrested by the U.S. Secret Service near the south grounds of the U.S. Treasury Building early Sunday. According to Secret Service, officers responded to alarm around 2.15 a.m. reportedly saw Wall trying to scale a fence. She was arrested without incident, but charged with unlawful entry and contempt of court. Once in custody, it had been determined Wall had been issued a stay order for the White House complex, complex after an incident earlier in the week. Then, she was probably there to wrench his fucking phone out of his fucking hands. No, actually, <laughs> so he she couldn't wasn't. tweet at three in the morning. No, actually, she wasn't. I did some searching on Marcy Anderson Wall. Uh oh, she was there. She she made she is a Trump supporter, and she made a video entitled "Donald Trump Stop Being So Nice." That's you know I think that every day, he's just. He's just too soft-hearted. So and it's really time for no more Mr. Nice Trump. So so she decides that since she voted for him, obviously it's cool if she just shows up. Yeah, you know. That's how that works. Lots of things going on here. For one thing, I think it's about time, and uh, you know, maybe it would send the wrong message, but at this point, as all we've seen, I don't think I care. Maybe we should just electrify the fence around the White House. There was some other dude that got in and was on the grounds for 16 minutes and in the building before they caught him. She 16 minutes! How? And he made it in the building! Like, really? Like, I'm not saying we should have a fucking fortress. So but God damn. That's the one thing. But the other thing is, just because you voted for someone, they're not going to be cool with you just showing up. Yeah, you don't get to just roll up at their house. I mean, whatever opinion we may or may not have of Trump, he is the president, and they have to make, like, appointments and shit. Yeah. They don't... You can't just be like, well... I mean, he's He's got golf to play. Oh, yes. So much golf. So very much golf. We're just going for it with the YouTube comments this week. And I wasn't playing golf. The fuck said he wasn't. They had pictures, man. He was fucking playing golf. Get over it. But, but her emails. Emails. We know. We you know. Can't, you can't just like, it's. he's not your buddy. No. I don't care who the president is. Even though he is tragically too nice. Yeah, what, lady, what? what? What fucking bizarro dimension did you just land from? And, you know, <laughs> we are past 38 at this point, both of us. How, how, you're 38 years old. You're climbing the fence of the White House. Yeah. Stop and take stock. Just Stop for and think second. about your life. Yeah. I mean, I do this at my age and even I have to go, wow, what am I doing with myself? I mean, when I was seven, I stuck my head through a fence at Disney World and like staff had to come and help me get my head out because I got my head stuck in the fence. But I was seven. Yeah, there's a difference in seven and 38. 
Like at seven, you kind of expect a dumb fuck seven year old to do that. Now I'm 40. And if I went to Disney and got my head stuck in a fence, I would be on this show. Because <laughs> that would be real. And like you'd be yelling at me and I'd be like, I, 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 I know. I know. I, Tara, I have no were, you, were you trying to kill the new Trump robot at the Hall of Presidents? God, there's finally going to be something worse than it's a small world. Actually, people are worried it's going to break free from the Hall of Presidents and try to destroy it's a small world. Yeah, that is awfully multicultural. Yeah. Then it's going to march on Epcot. Yeah. Oh, all right. We have Florida because, of course, we have Florida. The, co the comments are going to be so great this week. I don't fucking care. Um, I know, but I love them. We're going to be in. We've like, got your, your rage fuels me. So you only make me stronger. What is it the fuck about the internet that makes people think they can just do stuff and it'll be okay? Just but I put it online, so it's okay. Anonymity and the illusion of except, artifice. Except they don't do it with the anonymity. They put pictures and videos like this guy. What the, and everybody sent me this one because they thought this was the greatest thing. Obstruction of breakfast. Lakeland man faces charges after eating pancakes in the roadway. 21-year-old Lakeland man is facing charges after police say he ate his breakfast in an intersection. He's got a little table and everything. He does. Like, he's got a nice little setup there. Police responded to a call Tuesday about a man... He doesn't seem to have his a fork. No. A man sitting in a, a crosswalk at the East Lanes of Memorial Boulevard and Brunel Parkway. The man, a uh, caller said the man was sitting in a chair with a small table and eating what appeared to be pancakes. The man was gone when police arrived, but video and pictures of the incident surfaced on Facebook. Police said they were able to identify the man as Kiran Thomas. He was in the roadway. Thomas told officers he did it as a prank. So it's okay. Um, well, I mean, at least that's a reason that makes sense. It wasn't like, well, my goldfish, who's actually Darth Vader, told me to. Yeah. Which is usually our oeuvre. <laughs> but it was, it was like... But still. Oh, you finally... I fi he finally found the head to his mouse. He's fucking Yay! with it right now. <laughs> Did he bring it to you like an accomplishment? No, he's just sort of smacking it around in the background. What? Back Woman, there. look what I've brought you. Anyway, no, this is I have the, slain the foul beast and brought you its head. Now the idea here is, is like, this was a prank, so it's cool, officers. Just I did it for the internet. Pancakes and you don't? Because that's not funny. Like, if, if you have pancakes and I don't, I'm not amused, I'm angry. Just because you did something to put it on the internet does not mean what you did is not illegal. Right. What was it? Didn't we have guys like running around the fucking Walmart and yep. and shit? Like, just because it's for YouTube doesn't make it legal. And motherfucker, you are so lucky someone wasn't just like looking at their GPS for a second yeah. and not slow and just or texting or whatever. You are like, you or were, you could too have been a pancake. You would have been there. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. You would have been on an entirely different show. You would have been a Darwin Award winner. We don't do them. And that would have been a waste of perfectly good pancakes. What? You are right there. You... I really like pancakes. I don't know if you know that about me. I really like pancakes. I like IHOP pancakes with the neon red strawberry syrup. Oh, God, yes. That uh... has like, nothing approaching a strawberry in the ingredients. Okay, Computer Ronan, he was a flapjack ass. <laughs> well done. Well done. That was a good one. That was it. That was a good one. Next, okay. This I'm gonna I'm gonna to have you seen fried green tomatoes? To no one's surprise, I have not. How oh, really? No. Cause you would love that movie. I know the scene about Kathy Bates being older and having more insurance. That's the one I'm talking about. Oh, good. Okay. So I have your context. I've seen that bit. 
Yeah, the, the idea. Like that's the only part of seeing. Which, you know, older have more insurance. Sure, that's a thing. But no, it doesn't really help very much. It's not a, it's not a blank check. Yeah, you shouldn't do things with your vehicle like that. But this guy. Apparently... Like, I've thought about it. But then I've realized I would no longer have good insurance if I did. Man charged after crashing car into tree repeatedly to prove a point. What point were we proving? Stonington, a local man is facing charges after police have said he repeatedly drove a car into a tree on his property in order to, quote, prove a point to another resident at the address. Uh, officers, he, Bailey, let's, what's this, this fellow's name? Joseph Michael Bailey, 44, uh, told officers he had done so to try and prove a point to another resident. Police said in published reports that the daughter of Bailey's girlfriend had struck a deer and he was ramming the car into a tree to prove a point. Neighbors told police they were concerned because the car ramming had occurred over a period of 30 minutes. The school bus was due to drop off children. Police said what Bailey... Point what point? What point? There's nothing in the story that explains what point he was trying that to prove. That seems like an important piece of information to include. For, th for 30 minutes. You're ramming a tree with your car for 30 minutes to prove a point. I'm, I'm, I'm going to break my own rule. I'm going to look at the, the comments here. Are you trying to prove that nature is bullshit? I don't know. Because she hit a deer? This has left me baffled since I first read the story. And internet, this is going to probably baffle you too. I, I dug. I tried to find out what point he was like, trying This is going to keep me up tonight. If it wasn't for my horse, I wouldn't have spent that year in college. Like, what the fuck point were you trying to prove? I, I need to know. What was going on? <laughs> I mean, but I cannot imagine any scenario where I'm trying to prove a point where my best option is, wait, I know how to illustrate this. Let me get my truck. Yeah, no. <laughs> and my, my oldest sister wrapped her Jeep around a tree at one point. It was it, maybe it wasn't a Jeep, maybe it was a Blazer, whatever. It was one of those SUVs. And she hit it was a tree or a telephone pole, I forget, hard enough that her car like lifted up and you could see the shape of the trunk all the way up her car. And the only reason she doesn't have severe brain damage is because she's really fucking short. <laughs> and there was enough headroom that because if it was me sitting in that car, I'd be a vegetable. But yeah, you could actually see the indent. Like those things don't fuck around. I they're they're there to stay, and they're, you're going to lose that fight. I could just see could just, your neighbors go, "What the fuck are you doing?" No, no, I'm proving a point. Yeah, hold on a sec. No. <laughs> the... I mean, if you were looking to prove that you're an idiot. Oh yeah, you mission accomplished. Good show, because you done done it. Uh, so <laughs> this next one is holy fucking shit. Um, I know we have issues with cops in this country right now. It's very high profile issues with cops in the country. This one actually kind of surprised me, especially when you think of detectives, you think of stuff like, like, like CSI and, and Law and Order Special Victims Unit. You think of these, yeah. these upright, stoic people who, who get to the truth and they're... they're right. Hard-nosed and stuff. Columbo. Well, well, something was hard. Let's put it that way. Uh-oh. Detective busted for masturbating in strangers' backyard. Oh, like the, on duty? <laughs> a New York police detective... Uh, New York Police Department detective was arrested Sunday for fondling himself in front of the windows of Long Island homes. Detective Robert Francis was arrested after one homeowner in Rockville Center called 911 to report that a man was standing in the backyard masturbating. Fun fact about Long Island that will just give this a little extra funny. One, he was clearly not on duty because Rockville Center is not in the NYPD mm. jurisdiction. That would be the Nassau County PD. 
Rockville Center is the seat of the Catholic diocese for pretty much all of Long Island. He probably wasn't there, but, you know, that's like the seat of the church on Long Island. Just throwing that out there. That's the thing I know about it. Francis allegedly entered the backyards of more than one home, shined a flashlight inside until he got someone's attention. Oh. Then, as the person was looking at him, Francis shined the light on himself to show he was fondling himself. Okay. So it was it was pretty much like, eh? 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 I mean, isn't that eh? what we have the internet for? Right. You could actually make money doing that. Yes! You wouldn't have to be a cop anymore and put your life in danger. Seriously! If you could make like $39.95 an hour. Just jerk it off online. Right. And you and apparently you enjoy it when people watch. So hey. If you're good at something, never do it for free. <laughs> And he had to know. He had to know his that ass that was possibly not legal and he could His ass was getting arrested. Yeah. Especially like calling attention to the shit like they'll but never catch me. The dick jokes in the chat. What? Well, because dick is a nickname for a detective. Ah. So they're just losing their minds in there. Uh Dick Tracy, you're doing it wrong. Private Dick charged with touching his dick. Officer Dick O'Strokington. Not so private Dick. <laughs> is that... I mean, I know that's not what outside Dick means, but it is literally outside Dick. Yeah. Inch high private eye. Oh. Law and like, Order SVU after dark. Uh, like, how do you not at least put a ski mask on? You're a cop. Yeah. Come, at least attempt to conceal your goddamn identity. You're a cop, dude. You know how this shit works. And you're not just a fucking idiot B cop. You're a detective. Yes. Which means so, you're... Not, not that I look forward to your letters. Not that I think beat cops are stupid. I do not. Great respect for... The, the job that they do. But detective is a level up. Yeah. Like, you gotta be smarter than the average bear. Yeah. I, it's, it's, and I'm sure the people in those, we're, we're, we're wonderfully relieved to know the person jerking off in their backyards was a cop. And is allowed to carry a firearm around and arrest people. That's... Well, let's just hope he doesn't get his dick hand mixed up with his firearm hand. Speaking of firearms, we have one from Alabama. And this guy is... Wow, kids. This is actually kind of impressive in a very sad way. Stolen gun falls from inmate's body cavity during search at North Alabama jail. It's not clear yet whether the owner wants it back, but Limestone County authorities received a, recovered a stolen gun when it fell from an inmate's body cavity during that is, the search. That is some soft fucking language. That is. <laughs> Jesse O'Neill Roberts, 23, of Elkmont, was being booked into the Limestone County Jail on misdemeanor charge of public intoxication when the weapon fell from his body. Uh, Sheriff spokesman Stephen Young said, I immediately considered that he had defecated on himself before noticing a familiar shape in the form of a pistol in his boxers. No, that's, that's just how a poop. <laughs> you don't have gun-shaped poop? And this, I want to point out, is not a little gun. It's 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 a relatively generous size. You know, it's not like a, a Desert Eagle. Are you are you familiar with a Jimenez three eighty caliber pistol, Dan? The Jimenez three eighty caliber pistol. That is slightly larger than my fist. 
Well, how how big would a 380 be? Well, if you just looking at the picture, it's big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Yeah. You have to curl your hand around it. I mean, I feel like pretty much any gun is too big to put up your butt. <laughs> oh, blow but it out your ass. To put up the butt, and there's holy crap, too big to put up your butt. Um, blow it out your ass. I made a boom boom. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> Was it? I hope it wasn't loaded. God, I hope not. Because okay. that's just not safe. Now, look, I know you're going, if you've been arrested and you're going to get in trouble anyway, you they're going to find it. They're going to find it. You could have just, for the sake of, of dignity and, and speeding the process along, been like, look, I have a gun. It's stolen. I know I'm going to be charged for it. Yeah. Let's get... Not, I have a gun, it's stolen, I'm going to put it up my ass. Like, you have not only compounded the error, you have compacted your bowel. <laughs> God, I hope that wasn't loaded, because holy shit. Yeah. That would... I mean, literally. Holy yeah, was, put a couple holes in them. I, but, my God. And also, I'm a little impressed that he was had a whole gun up his butt. And was able to just clench and be like, yeah, I'm fine. But he wasn't. It fell out. Well, Which is almost more concerning. <laughs> that it was... that Because what 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 damage have you done <laughs> to your penis? <laughs> that something of that size will that just thing. fall out. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you even get to pick when you poop anymore? <laughs> Like, you're making the ghosty guy be like, oh. damn. <laughs> That's some old school internet kids. Go Google that immediately. Oh. Go Google that immediately after the bit. You know, Buffy's 20 years old now. I know. I was talking about that when the show started. That's old. And they all look amazing. Oh. Have you seen the pictures? Oh, because uh, what, what's her name? Um, played Sarah Michelle Geller still looks like she's fucking 16. It's not even fair. Um... Cordelia. Jesus Christ, she looks amazing. Yeah. She's like, does it age? I think she might be an actual vampire. Holy crap. Yeah. Um, so yeah. All right. As promised, our last one this week. Hi. Is a crazy ton. Oh, okay. Don't beat me up. You don't gotta beat me up about it. This one is uh a journey. So we we've all always been I've I've been concerned about potentially getting stuck in an elevator. I'm sure everybody has at one point or another. Um, however, there are there. I think through what I would do if I were stuck in an elevator. I think, OK, uh, does it have one of those little phone things? No. Is my phone working? Can I contact someone? Maybe if shit's really terrible, is there one of those trap doors up top? You know? Maybe I should just sit and wait for someone to help me. All the, the yeah, rational. Yeah, but after Live Free or Die Hard, I don't think I could even trust if someone rescued me because of what happened to Holly McLean. That's a movie. She got captured by the bad guys. That's a, that's a movie. <laughs> Tara, it's a movie. Just saying. So, I, I, I have several ideas of what to do. This, this is full on white trash. That's all I got to say about, because this is amazing. And this goes on for two minutes. Let, let's, let's, let's have a look, shall we? Let me bring up the video here. Because this, this, and I want to point out the people who, who put this on video did so because they thought the video would prove they were right. That's how utterly idiotic these people were. Let's go to the tape. Well, already in the thumbnail, I see a whole lot of butt crack. So what's happening here is, um, I'll pause because I want to go step by step and blow by blow. There is an, a six-year-old and an 18-year-old stuck in the elevator. 
So it's not an unescorted child. It's not like a kid all by himself. I would consider being a little frantic if there was like a six-year-old. There's right. a six-year-old and an 18-year-old stuck in the elevator. And the first thing they have decided to do after they have they alerted staff and said what was going on, staff called maintenance, said they'll be here within 10 to 20 minutes. You'll just have to wait. We apologize. It's enough. They, on the other hand, freaked out. They started recording. The first thing they did was they set off all the fire alarms. That's not going to get them out faster. That's actually going to slow everything down. And it continues. They're going to from floor to floor. Yeah, they pulled every fire alarm possible. Go break it. There's no cameras, right? They ran into someone who appeared to be a worker, which I think that's going to happen momentarily. This goes on for two minutes of just sheer and utter nonsense. This crowd of screaming American tourists. No, no, we're not worrying. It's not your fucking kids. We've been having problems with you fucking kids. How would pulling the fire alarm get your kid rescued faster? Yeah, the worker said... Pull the fire alarm, they have to come... Hi, hi, you can't have my sweater. No, you can't have it. It's my sweater. Thank you. The worker just said, don't worry, don't worry. The response was, no, we are f worrying. It's not your fucking kids. We've been having problems with you fucking people. Fuck off. So that's helpful. Yeah. No, you can't have my sweater. Stand there. Stand no, there. you can't. She just stands there. Chew on your couch. Here you go. They're filming the entire process of going through. Now we're, we're going to get to how. Mikey was doing it. Go. Oh boy. White trash powers activate. This is a. He works for the Royalton. Just to let you know. This is how we and they the pull the elevator, they yank on the elevator doors. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? And the poor security card's just like, I, I... I... And from the inside of the uh, elevator, uh, in case you didn't hear it, uh, this is, what, where is it? Um, this is fucking bullshit. I will fucking kill you, you understand. The 18-year-old. Charming. Here we go. Wait for it. They are just all fra and frantic and How ridiculous. How long were they trapped in there? Was it like days? Minutes. Now they're... Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. Put your backs into it and you. Yeah, he screamed, open this oh fucking God. door, you pussies. And they broke the elevator. They cried, they broke the fucking elevator. And everybody's bawling like they just came back from battle. Like they just returned from Odysseus's journey home. Now, the reason they caught this on video was because they were convinced that the internet would be on their side watching really? their struggle. You were, were you? And then the comments started rolling in. They are not familiar with the YouTube comments, are they? <laughs> and they took the video down. But not before the news had picked up on it made copies the people in saint lucian where they were the were uh, saint lucia well, well, well they were saint lucians from saint lucia okay um people in saint lucia were displeased you were every ridiculous american stereotype wrapped up into one like when you go overseas do, do, do you ever feel just like, you should tell people you're from Canada. Well, unfortunately, uh, let's see. I've been to England. And I've been to Canada. And they probably know that I wasn't Canadian. Yeah. I, 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 I What am I supposed to do? Like, oh, I, sure. I locked like the, the hockey A. And 
and the maple syrup. And I, I put I put mayonnaise on my French fries and gravy too, eh? Yeah. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Yeah, I don't think like I, I'm I don't think I feel eligible well. for an Irish passport because my father was native born and I've been meaning to get it for a few years. I procrastinate terribly. Partially because it's just easier to move around Europe if you have a Eurozone passport. Yeah. Because, except for the UK now, they're pretty much open borders if you have that passport. But, though, though I'm shit at accents and I can't replicate an Irish brogue, it would be nice to just be like, no, I'm not American. <laughs> it's weird how I don't have a brogue. I know, isn't that crazy? But yeah, no, I'm I'm from Ballybunion, for sure. Really, <laughs> honest. I mean, for fuck's... How did they... Th did they think this... Uh, and then they break the elevator open. Man, I hope they have to pay for that. Oh, they're probably definitely. Well, no, they'll probably just skip out on it. Does this look? Does this seem like a bunch of people who would no, pay? No, I want this hotel to pursue it. <laughs> Go after these motherfuckers. I think the, the part was when he was inside the elevator, stuck, and he screamed, "Get me out of this fucking thing, you pussies!" My inclination would have been, you know, maybe we shouldn't. Just leave him there. I mean, I'd be a little worried about that six-year-old in there with aggro bro. Oh. I, I can't imagine how that six-year-old was just... Like, first of all, you pull the fire alarms, that means that the fire department, mm -hmm. at least here in the States, I don't know if it's the same in St. Lucia, admittedly. I've never been there. But at least here in the States, if a fire alarm goes off, the fire department has to come, mm -hmm. evacuate that building, mm -hmm. and then floor by floor clear the building. Yep. So you have actually vastly slowed down the process of getting your kid rescued. And everybody in the building has to go out. While you're everybody to... has to evacuate. Maintenance so can't come in because... Kid and you can't stay there either. Yeah, maintenance can't come in because it's right. an evacuation. And yeah, why... You entitled motherfucker. And their priority has to be to clear the building before they worry about whether or not your kid is trapped. You... You... Ugh. No, no, we'll put this online. This is a travesty. They'll see. Everybody's going to see. Yeah, we see. Oh, we see. I really hope they have to pay for that fucking elevator. I do, too. What the, what the fuck? You fucks. What the fucking fuck? And I don't, like... If the elevator was, like, on fire or quickly filling up with corrosive acid or... You know, the devil was in there and they didn't know who it was and he was picking people off one by one because that's a movie I saw recently. I can understand your panic. <laughs> if it was just, well, God, that's an inconvenience, not a tragedy. Uh, just... Like if you get to like the 12 hour mark and they don't have water and they're going to die, that becomes like at 10 minutes, that's an inconvenience. I guess the first thing we, we 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 learned this week is you don't always get to take matters into your own hands. No. Just because you think things should be happening faster than they are, well, guess what? You're not the only humans on the planet. <gasps> what? <gasps> oh, my God. Almost like other people... What? But I work oh. in retail, so I know for a fact that most people are blithely, terrifyingly unaware that other people exist. I mean, that right, that, what we just saw was like the entire retail mentality cranked up to 11. Yeah. They'd be doing this shit in every store they could if they could get, get away with it. Yeah. Of all the movies Tara's seen, look, it came on TV one day. We've learned that, you know, if you have a choice between getting busted for stolen weapons or getting busted for stolen weapons that you shoved or up your ass. getting busted open by your stolen weapon. Yeah, let's, let's, take the, the, let's take the path of least resistance right there. Literally. Of course, this, with, it just fell out, so maybe the path of least resistance. There wasn't much resistance anyway. <laughs> yes. Let's Wait. take the path of least rectal damage. <laughs> Whenever possible. Are you having fun? 
smacking that. I don't know if you've been able to see or hear, but Dottie is running around behind me like a little lunatic here. Well, Grady is having a great time smacking around the, the head of the mouse. <laughs> Fuck you, mouse. Wouldn't give me any treats. We've learned that if you are a police detective, you should probably understand. You if know, you're a dick, you should keep your dick private. Right there, that's perfect. That is perfect. Um, we've learned whatever point you're attempting to make, <laughs> unless you're involved in crash testing, running your car into a tree. It's just going to confuse everyone. I mean, if the point you're trying to illustrate is this will really destroy a car, let me show you. <laughs> All right. Point well illustrated. We've learned just because you do something with the intent of pointing it online, of putting it online, that doesn't mean it's not illegal. What yeah. you did. Just saying, no, it's cool. It's a prank. The cops don't care. And those pancakes probably got cold in the time it took you to set your little bar. Thing up outside. Which you, were, is you are so focused on the pancakes. I really like pancakes. And finally, we learned that no matter who the president is, you got to make an appointment. You can't just like. You can't just roll up in there. Yeah, they that that's that's they get a little cranky when you do that. Shit. They take that shit pretty serious. Yes, they're not very good at it, <laughs> but they take it pretty serious. 